Now an issue with the SCX24 is that the stock tires suck. They look really cool, but the sidewalls are stiff. There's not that much traction. So I wanna see if I could change that. Now the tires aren't that expensive. It's the wheels that can be pretty expensive. And it could probably be a little off-putting for those new in the hobby who don't wanna put a whole bunch of money into their rig quite yet, but still wanna get some performance. So I wanna see if I can make these stock tires better. So I have a boulder out front. What we're gonna do is run the stock tires and my Proline Hyraxes on four lines I have, and we'll see how well these two tires do against each other. I know these are gonna not do well. Then we'll come back and cut the lugs in no particular pattern, just whatever will look more aggressive than the stock ones do now. And then we'll run those same four lines again, and then compare them and see if they actually are better than the stocks, and maybe if they're almost as good as the Hyraxes. So without rambling on too much longer, let's get crawling. All right, for comparison, here's a stock tire. You can see how smooth it is in all those side lugs. I decided to cut the side lug at this long bar here, as well as these two longer bars, leaving these smaller lugs. And you get a bit of a zigzag pattern. More aggressive looking sidewall there. 
And as an added benefit that I wasn't expecting, after cutting all these lugs off, the sidewalls actually seem to have a little bit more flex to them and the flats seem to be a little more pliable as well. So not only have I increased the traction, but I think I've increased the flexibility of this tire over the stock, which is gonna to form to rocks better, give us a lot more bite. And so I'm actually kind of excited to use these, see how well they do. So I got two more of these to cut into this pattern and then we'll go hit the rocks and see how much better they do. And there you have it. The modified tires did a lot better than stock. Hooking up, grabbing on, and climbing up some of those faces with little difficulty. However, still was a tall order to try to beat the higher axes, which it did not, I don't think, but came pretty close. The higher axes are pretty darn good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this mod is useful, and I'll see you on the next one.